Question 4. Figure 4 shows a static electricity generator. The rubber belt is turned by a motor. So this is the motor over here. That's the rubber belt and that's the motor. As the rubber belt moves, charge is transferred from the rubber belt to the metal dome. So as the rubber belt move, charge is transferred to this metal dome here. Charge will be electrons. Question 4.1. Figure 5 shows a student touching the metal dome of the static electricity generator. The dome is negatively charged and here is the student touching that and her hair just, you can see, statically spread out. Explain why the student's hair stands up on end. First point will be the electrons are transferred to the students because the electrons will be transferred from the metal dome to the students. Point number two, our hair is negatively charged because electrons have negative charge. Point number three, because negative are everywhere in our hair, the negative will repel each other. So like charges repel, and that's why between each strand of hair, these electrons are repelling each other. So that's why they stand up separately. Question 4.2. The charged metal dome creates an electric field. What is an electric field? An electric field is the region or area where another charged object will experience an electric force. Question 4.3. How does the electric field strength vary as the distance from the charged metal dome increases? The electric field strength decreases. Question 4.3. 4.4. Figure 6, this one here, shows the negatively charged metal dome and an earthed conductor. So that's the earth conductor there. And it says when the earth conductor is moved towards the metal dome, there is a spark between the dome and the earth conductor. Question 4.4. The spark transfer 0.6 joule of energy and 2 microcoulomb of charge is transferred from the dome to the earth conductor. Calculate the potential difference between the metal dome and the earth conductor. Use the physics equations sheet. This is 4 marks. The charge which is 2.0 times 10 to the power minus 6 because micro here, this is micro, that's 10 to the power minus 6, which means 2 over a million. 10 to the power minus 6 is 1 over a million. So that would be 2 divided by a million, or you can say 2 times 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb. That's the charge. And the energy transferred is 0 0.6 joules. Now we need to write the equation between the two of them. Energy equals QV. V is the voltage. Potential difference is the voltage. And therefore, we're looking for V. We're going to make V the subject. V equals E over Q. And then we can substitute the values in there. V equals 0 0.6 divided by 2 times 10 to the power minus 6. And that gave 300,000 volt. You can write 300 kilovolt. But the answer is requested in volt here. So we have to write 300,000 volts. Question 4.5. Which of the following changes would increase the distance a spark can jump between the dome and the earth conductor. 1. Decrease charge on the metal dome. Decrease electric field strength. Decrease electrical resistance of air. Decrease potential difference. Well, in this case, it would have to be decrease electrical resistance of air because they're the one that will absorb the electrons as they jump because it's the electrons that are jumping. And if there's anything in the air, then electrons will react with those things as they jump across. But if you decrease the electrons, electrical resistance of air, then more electrons will be able to jump across.